y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to my bedroom on this afternoon for me. I don't know what it is for you, but it is the day where I'm watching all the shows and that includes returning to the zany wacky land of Lucifer. This is season three, episode 20, The Angel of San Bernardino. Never been to San Bernardino. So last episode, Maze, we have honed in on Maze's she always feels last minute. I don't even want to say that on the surface, I'll form a sentence here. On the surface, it sounds as if she wants to be considered first. She wants to be first place on things. I think what she wants is to not be an afterthought. And because she is who she is and how she's been raised, her life experiences even when someone does put her first, Linda, maybe not as quickly as Maze would have wanted, but Linda did put her first. She doesn't recognize it and she's gone past the wall. She has Kool-Aid man through that wall and it's <laughs> flown. So the question becomes, don't tell me, <laughs> how did she come back into the fold? And the other development we had was now Chloe and Pierce are an item. <laughs> Whenever I see them together, I get that scene from the OG parent trap, Haley Mills, Brian Keith, when he's telling her he wants to marry Vicky and she just starts shouting, it's revolting. It's the most revolting thing I've ever heard. You are too. It's absolutely revolting. It's, revolting. it's the most revolting thing I've ever heard of. I'm out of I'm not even going to discuss it with you if you don't stop shouting. A man of your age. That's all I hear in my head. It's revolting. So yay, let's revolt some more. Yay, okay, so. <laughs> so we are going to get down and to it. Thank you so much for being here on this adventure. I love you all very much. Every step of the way, you've made it so much more fun. So as we get under, where the hell's my cozy, comfy blanket? As we get under the cozy, comfy blanket, I have my water to stay hydrated. I also have a little glass of wine because I don't remember when I opened that bottle. Let's finish it off. You're going to hit subscribe if you haven't already or leave a like, leave a comment because that does help the channel. You can also watch this full episode with me on Patreon. I would love to see you there where I'm watching Resident Alien and Great British Bake Off Pastry Week. <gasps> pastry Week. Yeah, I think that's housekeeping. So let's get to it. Where's my money? <gasps> Wait. First I thought it was a break-in, but now it's just an aggression. Hello? People are fighting in my house. What? Evan, Evan, stop! She doesn't recognize either. <gasps> well, that was a lot. That was a lot. Morning, Lieutenant Pierce. Hey. Have you seen the evidence closet? No. No. And we're not going to see the evidence closet. Wow. This is a great closet. And, um... Is it just me? Or... Oh, hello, sir. Hello. Yeah, Jesus. get some Decker. Hmm. Despite that... I don't really sense any chemistry between them. Speaking of, you'll never guess what happened to me last night, Detective. What's up? <gasps> yeah, <she> woke <laughs> up alone. And? It's funny because I usually don't, because I usually have women over, or men, or both, for sex. What was he gonna say? Will he be coming with you from now on because he is killing our banter? Shall we? <clears throat> uh, you have DNA on your shirt. <gasps> Oh, that's a way to phrase it. <laughs> Best post sex joke ever. Hey, Ella, what's up? Who you is? Tell me what's up, player. Kevin. Who's Kevin? Here lies Kevin Winstead of the Winsteads, the wealthy real estate family from New York. Kevin was notoriously the black sheep of the Winstead clan. Heroin addiction. 
Although, it appears that Kevin might have gone clean recently. Hmm. Not an easy thing to do. And apparently a waste of his time. Wow. <laughs> wow, Lucifer. Wow. But the killer never got around to taking anything. Got interrupted by the house's owner. And something with wings. I would be dead, for sure, if God hadn't sent that angel to protect me. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry. It's just the only thing my siblings would chase away for a good time. I have proof. Ooh, <gasps> feather. He took one of my figurines. Well, that's not really not proof. Gabriel. <gasps> Gabriel. Who was the other brother that was Michael Imperioli? Was that Gabriel? Seriously, is it one of your brothers? <laughs> my father doesn't send my siblings <laughs> down to intervene in petty robberies in Pacoima. <laughs> San Bernardino, but <laughs> such a great question that. <laughs> okay, Lucy, I think we made a mistake revealing divinity to Charlotte Richards. What did she do? What did she do now? Thoughts, what if she tells someone? Okay. Because then that person might tell someone else, who then might tell someone else, which could and lead so to absolutely so nothing so happening because no one will believe her. Okay. We don't know what she's going to do now that she knows. And I don't care. You're right. Just an old woman in some unremarkable home said an angel broke into her house, saved her life. I mean, it would have to be one very bored or deeply confused angel. <laughs> blow, Gabriel, blow. Blow, Gabriel, blow. <laughs> And you don't remember how the figurine got into your bedroom. He's talking about this Linda and not a minute deal. Okay. Oh, or a sex toy. Mm, no. I mean, give sex toy. I just. And You've been complaining about having weird dreams lately. There have been instances where people sleepwalk when they're having difficulty dealing with painful situations, or inversely, not. Is it possible you're not dealing with something and thus sleep flying? That's absurd. I mean, what in the world could I not be dealing with? I don't know. Chloe and Pierce. Maze. And I'm definitely not this angel. And I know just how to prove. You're gonna broke it and not give it back to her? I haven't introduced Trixie to anybody. And I just don't wanna do that until I'm sure. And it's not that I'm not sure. I just, I, I wanna be ready and I wanna know, you know? Maybe I shouldn't have said all that. Anyhow. What's the problem? Listen. Fast or slow, whatever the speed. Yeah, didn't he just say an episode or two ago that if they went slow, that's fine? I like you. Two days ago, mm. Kevin checked out of a high-end rehab facility, Sunrise Sands, and according to this incident report, he got into a pretty nasty fight with a fellow resident uh, right before he left, a guy named Phil Goldstein. And where is Phil? You know, I don't understand why humans waste so much time Wait, resisting their desire. That's the rehab facility? The drugs and sex. That looks really nice. <laughs> He's a douchebag. Did you know that he was murdered? No. But it's nice to get good news for a change. Wow, you really did not like Kevin. Would you like to tell us where you were? I went for a drive. Can anyone confirm that? If producing nine legal shows taught me anything, Ooh. is that I don't have to say Jack without a lawyer. Oh, Phil, I've had enough of your crap. Um. The angel interrupted your escape, so tell me, what did he look Lucifer? like? Lucifer? Did he look like me? Lucifer, stop. I did not kill Kevin. But you know who did? But you guys did fight, right? That is only because Kevin took this rehab stuff so seriously. The rest <laughs> of us, it's a smoke screen. We keep our wives and jobs at bay, but Kevin wouldn't. <laughs> it's so messed up. He drove me nuts, so I punched him. That's not a good, what the? <clears throat> Where were you last night? Uh, uh, with hookers. That's why I'm in here. I'm a sex addict. And it's this. It's court ordered. Anyway, you know, two steps forward. <laughs> the hookers for the rehab. <laughs> what? <laughs> Go home, you're tired. Okay, fine, but only if I can 
Faraday's. Does he have the keys to those? I did not see that attached. Oh, they're for himself. But how are you going to get yourself out of them? And the, well, okay, devil man. Um, wait, this plan is flawed. I just came to show you this. <gasps> Ooh. But Lucy, it appears that uh, I am the angel. For reals, how? Wait, why? What was the uh, what was what was the evidence? It's just ludicrous. It, it can't be me, can it? Look at your hands. I think it is you, and I think it's all my fault. In what possible way is this your fault? <laughs> because I made you show your wings to Charlotte. Are his hands covered in ash? Well, if working with the detective has taught me anything, is that I need proof. Only the killer can say for certain if it was me. So I'm off to work. Why doesn't somebody just stay with him overnight and watch him? I'll get some takeout because being with you is the dessert. Hashtag dying of cuteness. Hashtag it's revolting. The most revolting thing I ever heard of. Sounds like things are going really well. They are. But I think she's holding back. She hasn't said the magic words. The magic words. It's been three days. It's been three days. Rhymes with my gov boo. She never said those to Lucifer. <laughs> Your casserole tastes like roadkill. Charlotte. Oh, and you, stop telling stories about your children because no one cares. Why is she go, this is not keeping yourself out of hell? How does this say? And you, you are coming with me. Okay. They're also making use of the evidence room. Kevin and I dated years ago. We were going to get married after I got pregnant with Jackson. But you are the one with the assault charges. <gasps> I did my share of drugs with Kevin. Wow. Money. Was it child support? Is that the money that she wanted, they wanted, he wanted? And when was the last time you spoke to Kevin? It's been years. Because it says here on the phone records that he called here three months ago? Every now and then he would call asking for money for drugs. So whenever I would see his name on the caller ID, I would just hand the phone to Jeremy. And Jeremy gave him money and drugs. Last time you spoke, you said he owed somebody a lot of money. I didn't care to ask who. And what is this popped collar on his cardigan? <clears throat> ah. mm. so wow, I like their lunches. <laughs> I had a big revelation recently, and it's completely changed my perspective on, well, everything. It's liberating. Another round. And you need some charcuterie. But if I show up back to work completely hammered, there's gonna be hell to pay. I got you covered. I'll put in a word with the big guy. <laughs> it's an anadrome. For Charlotte, uh, though, you don't know God. But I should go. Or you could duck into that closet, take off all your clothes. I'll go freshen up, meet you in there. Then do the same. That's really not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> you better help. Nobody needs a water pitcher. Yep. What are you doing in here? <laughs> I'm calling the police. Thinking no, 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 with no, no, his pepper. No, 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 don't, don't, don't. I am the police. I am the police. If I could just um. <gasps> She's still taking shots and goes. Right there. Could have gone out back. Could have gone to the restroom. Again, evidence closet. If I am this angel of San Bernardino and I go to sleep, then I might do it again. Okay, well, just don't sleep then. That is an excellent plan, detective. I'll just never sleep again. Can he do that? Oh, with some help, he can. Wow. And he just can't have like a Minadel or a Linda sit with him or some other people. And that's his plan for every night. What is that backpack? Oh, perfect. Dada. <laughs> Again. <gasps> Fight club. <laughs> is, wait, is this in Lux? No. Yes. It's in his penthouse. Why do you care about my relationship with my father, Boo? 
Angel. Wait, no. He's not watching Angel. <laughs> He's watching Boats. With David Boreanaz. Okay. I'm still upset and so is Trixie. I know. I'm fine to take it at whatever pace you need me to. Wait, for reals? Oh, no. This is the plan. Wait, what'd you say? This Fast is or slow? Why? The plan. It just nothing. reminds me of something someone else said. Huh. I got your text. But Chloe didn't do anything. Where have you been all week? Has it been a week? Yes. And, hey, are you okay? No. So, what have we got, Booth? Booth? Yeah, it's the FBI agent on Bones. What's all 12 seasons. It's riveting stuff. It's like watching a documentary of us, <laughs> actually. You're clearly Booth. I'm Bones, obviously. Obviously. Uh, Kevin's autopsy report. Because he's been watching Bones. What I did find was surveillance video of Kevin getting arrested for possession a few months ago. Who arrested him? Kevin's dealer? Uh, I guess so. I spoke to Kevin's roommate. He said he's doing a job at the Vito Hotel right now. So if oh, so we hurry, we could catch him in the act. If I could have your attention, please. Uh, oh, excuse me. In the ER. Oh, no. That's my Kevin. I fix people's hearts with a scalpel. Wait. The real miracle here is how Sheila fixed Kirby's heart. He's doing a job at a wedding where he's best man. Detective, I've seen that man before. What? Where? He's the killer. I'm certain of it. What? Yeah. Well... Stop oh. the LAPD. Oh. Was it me? A drug dealer? I'm a heart surgeon. Dylan. Oh, was he selling organs? And I know you killed that intern at the hospital, yeah? Only a cranium was left in the smoldering. Is he an actor? This is all my fault. I don't have many friends. Any friends. So I hired okay. Matt to be my best man. Oh. Make it look like I know fancy people. Oh. You were arrested at the park for fighting with Kevin. So why? We were fighting because he wouldn't do any drugs. But does he know Goldstein? Because that's the job I was hired to do. Oh. I was hired to be Kevin's friend. I was supposed to keep him nodding out, uh, partying. Who hired you to carry out this ridiculous charade? No idea. I, I got the job through the agency that sets it all up. An agency sets this up? Do they have a business license for that? So what are we thinking? Pain or no pain? No pain. I've had enough painful death in my time. No pain it is. Not for you, anyhow. Decker's the one who's gonna suffer. I got it. Why? Getting her to fall for you, and then poof, vanishing. What did what does Maze have against Chloe? Lucifer, got it. Linda, mm, sure, but Chloe. For a fee, they'll send actors to pose as family or friends at public functions for the sake of appearances. And somebody said, sure, we'll hire some, we'll send somebody to keep you on drugs. It, it is imperative that we go now. It's imperative that you sleep. You clearly- I can't sleep! It's my wings, they're back. My father, he's manipulating me, he's making me do things that I would never do. What? Show her the wings. Show her the wings. Show her the wings. Either that or Linda's right, and I'm suppressing pent up feelings about you and Pierce, which is obviously absurd. Why it bothers you so much? I happen to know him better than you, and I know that you can't trust him. Care to elaborate on that? Show her the wings. Pierce isn't Pierce, it's Cain from the Bible. Put on him because he killed his brother. Stop! He is a good man who treats me right and all i know is how i feel when i'm around him and you know i love i we're done here just be done with it man yes i am impatient Ugh. seven carrots of pure bliss <gasps> charlotte this is not the route I was expecting her to take, finding out what happened. Yeah, what about that Spartan lifestyle? What can I say? 
things change. And why is that? Because when you know a pair of angels that can zip you up to heaven when the time comes, worrying is a waste of time. Oh, Pumpkin, you think you're gonna go to heaven? Oh. Neither I nor Lucifer have the power to get anyone into heaven. So the only thing that matters, Charlotte, truly is who you are. It's okay. Nothing's changed. No, don't you see? That's the problem. The second I thought I had a free pass, an excuse not to be good, I relapsed into my old ways. There's no hope for me. I'm in a deal. I can't change. Is he thinking he can't change? I'm going to hell. Oh my God, what is that picture on their website? Let's go get some pizza and ice cream on the way home. He seems nice. He is nice. Is he the reason you've been so happy lately? I think so. Does he like chocolate cake? You know what, I don't know. Let's ask him. Right. They gonna walk into something they shouldn't? Oh my God. That's Jeremy Bell, the husband we interviewed. Mm-hmm. Anyone there? Trouble sleeping. Wow, that is a sight. Morning Star, what are you doing here? <laughs> What are you doing here? Not, why did you break into the house? They're not your family. I just came from Masquerade. We're a most cooperative employee. Oh. Your so-called wife, worried she'd no longer fit in with the classes after she'd broken off with her deadbeat baby daddy, hired you to play husband and father. For how long? When Kevin's reappearance just put all that in jeopardy. I wasn't about to let that loser weasel his way back in here. Too bad you're trespassing. Ooh. What the hell? Exactly. Now, tell me what I really want to know. He saw an angel. Was it me? No, I, it was a, a shadow from, from those figurines. Oh. Run the figurine to my bedroom. No, no. I, I, I touched one of them, so I took it, but it had my prints on it. I destroyed it right after, I swear. <laughs> So who saved the people from the fire, though? And then you kept him distracted by hiring someone to keep the party going, driving him to self-destruction, stoking the very fires of his own weakness to keep him out of the way. What are you doing? I need to find it, Mace. I, I need to find it so that I can convince the detective that Pierce isn't who she thinks he is. Mm. <laughs> But if you want Chloe to believe you, you have to do it right. Take it to Ellen, have her do her lab thingy. Maze is not here just cause. Thank you. That's very kind of you. It's poison. Which is not like you at all. Why are you even here? Helping him, aren't you? This was my idea. Why would you do this to me, Masakim? Because I know the only thing that matters to you more than Chloe. You. Easiest way to spin you out. Tap into those daddy issues. She's really good at torturing people. You're stalling me. I need to get to the detective! Well, this is an interesting version of this song. The way that I feel about you is just uh, don't get a big head. I really like spending time with you. And leave it at that. Pierce, I love you. Stop. Someone's grown up conscious. What? Someone's Wait, grown up no. conscious. Marcus, don't. Sometimes you, you just have to take a leap of faith, you know? We can take this slow. I just thought that- You're just making this too hard. It's not worth it. I'm not worth it? I have to go. What? And this is when Lucifer hits Marcus on his motorcycle and kills him for reals. 
I tuoi perfetti Danna It's all blue cat Oh, he doesn't say anything. He doesn't say anything. He just goes. Where? Where are you going, Lucifer? Sure, he can be going to Pierce's house, but how do you know Pierce is at his residence? Why did you hurt her? Why? The first time. It was right there in my grasp. The one thing I always wanted. He always wanted. I just had to have her say the words. And I couldn't, I couldn't do that to her. Oh, you hurt her plenty, and now oh, I'm gonna hurt you, you. You do what you have to do, Lucifer. His mark's gone. Your mark is gone. Was the case wackadoo as always? Yes. Ah, okay, put that to the side. There was something about the pacing of this little arc that they were introducing that's making me go, oh, okay. Maze Pierce team up. It is working. The jump. Chloe to insta love to me feels insta love even though it's been a week and a half okay Pierce going I can't hurt her by telling I can't hurt her by having her tell me she loves me how would he be hurt is it by him then dying that would hurt her and it wasn't Chloe <laughs> here's the whole thing about his plan is that it's been millennia. This is my issue with his plan. With this plan, writer's plan issue. He's been around for millennia. Chloe made looser for a week because he cared for Chloe. So his plan was, I will have Chloe care for me as soon as she tells me she loves me, my mark will be gone. That's got nothing, that's not, Chloe never told Lucifer she loved him. It was always his care for her. If he was gonna go by that thought, Pierce would have to fall in love with her. Which makes me wonder, he's never fallen in love with anyone over millennia. This is why he's upset. It's because people he cares about end up dying and he's still around. Do you see why I'm missing a chunk of the puzzle? Because this doesn't make sense. And the speed of which, like, has this season been hella long? Yes. But the speed of this, boom, last three minutes. I would have gone a different route. What route that is specifically? Give me time to think about it. We still have six more episodes of this season. And Lucifer being so out of it, he just lets Maze come in and chat with her as if nothing, as if that whole last episode didn't happen and her going, you don't care about me? Hmm? Yes, I understand why Lucifer was out of it. But still. And another thing that was making me go, oh, oh was the whole Charlotte just being not very cool. She was being blunt. Was she being bad? No, I wouldn't say she was being bad. She just wasn't being kind. There's a difference. And that's why it was making me squinty. I was what made her think she was going to heaven. That's what we found out. She thought she was just going to go to heaven because she knows people. <laughs> okay. Now, what am I intrigued about that whole thing? is her now knowing or thinking there's no way she can be redeemed now. It's just this big wide arc of, I think I was trapped in hell. Ooh, now I know I wasn't, I was, but I wasn't because now I know people. So I'm gonna, whoop, I've gotten in and now I'm completely irredeemable. 
What she does with that, I find intriguing. Lucifer being confronted with just how obsessed he is with the dad and his possibility and him having his wings and just still, still unable to find a peace within himself. Interesting. That part's a little slow for me, but it's interesting because now Maze is right in his face saying, I know how to torture you because you're so easy. <gasps> that bit was good. All the rest of it, okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to have to sit on this one for a while. Yeah. What are you? What are you? Because I know some of you have already told me you were not pleased with the Pierce Chloe relationship and then having it go boom, like that where are you going yay or are you going yay but hmm i'm a yeah but that's where i'm at right now okay so there we go episode 20 season three done lots more story to go y'all lots more story so please do not be strangers go you're gonna go now Fill back up your water bottle. Do not refill your glass of wine. Touch your toes. Do some neck rolls. And then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all. And until next time.